This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Adobe Media Software. In this excerpt, we'll take a look at the brand new Essential Sound panel in Adobe Audition. Next, just as they put the Lumetri color panel into Premiere to allow us to make easier adjustments to color, Audition now adds the Essential Sound panel, which simplifies mixing and cleaning up audio not by replacing the audio filters that were already in Audition, but by adding an easy-to-use interface so even if you don't understand how audio filters work, you can still make your audio sound better. The operation of Audition is pretty much the same, with the exception of this panel. Here, for instance, I'm going to select these clips, and I have four choices. I can say, are these dialogue, music, sound effects, or ambience? Sound effects meaning short-term, ambience longer-term sound effects. If I click dialog and I say I want to unify the loudness, so I'm going to select these clips and click auto match. Now what's happened, let's just enlarge these here by grabbing and dragging this down and zoom in. Notice the gain of the first clip was raised by almost 15 dB. Second one Da, 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 delete the keyframe. Raised by 7 dB. Third one by 5.5 dB. Each of these clips has been raised by different amounts such that the level of Dr. Surf's voice sounds consistent across all the clips. If we needed to repair the sound, then we click on repair sound. We can reduce noise. We can reduce rumble. We can remove hum. Now let's say that I just check these. If I select a clip and look over in the Clip Effects panel, notice that it's added adaptive noise reduction. Uncheck it, that filter goes away. I want to reduce the noise. Uncheck it. So I reduce rumble, takes out the FFT filter. If I want to dehum, it's the same as if I applied the dehummer filter in, ef in effects rack. And it's exactly the same filter with exactly the same settings. It's just now I don't need to know how that filter works or where it is or the fact that it even exists. For an audio engineer, all I'm doing is applying preset settings to a filter, which an engineer can change at any time. For somebody that doesn't even understand how the audio filters work, they can still make their audio sound better without having to understand all the different filters and filter settings. This makes the power of the filters inside Audition, which are amazing, a whole lot more accessible. We can also apply clarity, which is EQ. We can do some creative things like apply reverb. We can even do some basic limiting and compression. The Essential Sound Panel is a huge benefit for making audio sound better without requiring you to be an audio engineer. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Adobe Media Software. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 198. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.